You know, we measure things all the time. That's how we compare things to one another. That's how we understand the world, especially our place in it. What time does school get out? How many inches is an iPod? How many pounds does your laptop weigh? What's the temperature outside right now? And how fast are you driving in your car? All measurements. But how do we measure a liquid? I'm glad you asked. The capacity of an object is the maximum amount that can be contained by the object. It often refers to the measurement of a liquid. Let's make some comparisons. A cup! Like a cup of coffee. I have a pint of pickles in my refrigerator. I see my uncle use a quart of paint. You probably see a gallon of milk every day. Let's take a look at the conversions involved in customary capacity. Let's begin with cups. How many cups does it take to equal a pint? One, one two. Two cups equals one pint. How many cups does it take to equal a quart? One, two, three, four. Four cups equals one quart. How many cups does it take to equal a gallon? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 cups equals 1 gallon. Now on to pints. How many pints does it take to equal a quart? 1, 2. 2 pints equals 1 quart. Last, let's take a look at quarts. How many quarts does it take to equal a gallon? One, two, three, four. Four quarts equals one gallon. Wait, we missed one. How many pints equal a gallon? Based on what you now know about customary capacity, can you figure it out? I know 2 cups equals 1 pint, and 6 cups equals 1 gallon, so... That's right, 8 pints equals 1 gallon. Which unit of capacity would be best to use to measure what the following items hold? Gallons. Pints. Cups, gallons, quarts, cups. So what have we learned about customary capacity? Capacity is the term used for measuring liquids. They include cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Are we done?